Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we'll unlock the book Country Driving, a journey through China from farm to factory. What do you consider to be the symbols of quality of life? Some people think that the quality of life is reflected in having three fine meals a day, some think that it is the use of luxury goods, while others see it as having a car of their own. With the continuous development of society and economy, a growing number of people are becoming car owners, and automobiles have gradually evolved from being simple means of transportation to becoming symbols of status. The rising income level of car owners is reflected from the purchase decisions, including the pursuit of the brand, the technology, and the car price. From a city point of view, economic development manifests itself in the perfection of road facilities, the smoothness of traffic, the size of car ownership, and so on. Since the reform and opening, China has seen speedy economic development. Across the nation, road infrastructure renovation and highway construction campaigns have been carried out one after another. In turn, they spurred rapid development in the automobile industry. In 2001, the number of vehicles in Beijing had exploded to over 1 million, and about 1,000 people were obtaining their driver's licenses per day. Since then, the Chinese government has paved more country roads in just over two years than it had done in the previous half-century. Roads and cars not only connect people from different regions, but also open up one path to economic development after another. Off-farm employment, infrastructure construction, industrial transformation and upgrading, as well as rural urbanization have showcased the sweeping changes brought about by the reform and opening in China. As a correspondent for The New Yorker in Beijing, Peter Hessler, the author of this book has witnessed China's substantial development through roadways and automobiles and has documented this change through self-driving road trips. Between 2001 and 2007, China's automobile industry was in a period of rapid growth. Starting from Beijing, Hessler headed to the inland northwest area and the southeast coastal region respectively. In his journey, he experienced the rapid construction of Chinese roadways, enjoyed the local customs, and had a taste of the massive changes that was brought to different regions thanks to the economic development effects of the reform and opening. He reveals the essence of China's transformations by documenting the landscape changes and the people's stories in different regions. Next, we will explain how Hessler explored China's development path through road trips in three parts. Part 1, A Road Trip to the West of the Great Wall Part 2, Rural Revitalization, Transitioning from Agriculture to Commerce Part 3, The Rise and Future of Industrial Towns Part 1, A Road Trip to the West of the Great Wall After deciding to embark on a road trip, Hesslers chose to depart from Beijing, following the Great Wall towards the inland northwest. At the time, many roadways in China were still very empty, especially in the northwest region where there was very little traffic on the roads. It was undoubtedly difficult to plan a precise route across the west from the numerous unnamed roads. However, in the Sino map, we can clearly see that the symbol of the Great Wall extends from Shanghai Guan in the northeast region to Ningxia and Gansu in the inland northwest area. In Hessler's view, one can cross the whole country just by following this wall. Hence, the Great Wall became an important reference mark for Hessler's first self-driving route. The Great Wall in northern China has hundreds of sections. It was originally used as a military fortification. Historically, naturally formed boundaries have surrounded Chinese empires in all directions, except for the northern steppes, a vast opening where the nomadic tribes living there often raided the border towns and cities. For defense, the Han Chinese built walls as fortifications. Today we call these structures the Great Wall. The total length of the Great Wall has exceeded more than 21,000 kilometers in length to date. The Central Plains people and the nomads living on the opposite sides of the Great Wall had experienced many conflicts throughout history. Peaceful periods were seen throughout history by practicing trade and diplomacy.